Ooh, another one. Fizzling, fizzling, fizzling. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Big Ton Plays EverQuest. I'm on the Vox server, and this is my hero's journey progression. I'm working on Welcome to the Moors. I am on the last part, or the last two pelts for the Slash Claw Cliffs. So I gotta get two more. So on this episode, I'm gonna get those two pelts and then make my way up here to these ghost wolves. I need, need to kill ghost wolves for their pelts, plus there's a named in there that I have to kill for a tooth. So we'll see how far we make it. And in the meantime, I am driving today with Big Ton. I'm at, made it to level 24. So I'm over level 20, so I decided to get a surname. And I picked Gaming, since Big Ton Gaming is the channel. And I figured it was appropriate, so... There she goes. Go ahead and always greed, always greed. I don't know if I need that. I think he already has them. Yeah, see here I got them on the bar so I can track them. So I actually don't... Don't need that. We'll go kill a couple more. I think the Celestial Remedy might be double reporting. Not entirely sure why it's doing that. Because it only ticked twice, but I saw it on the screen. Like, four times. Wonder if somebody else's combat log is... reporting it and it's picking it up. Hey, a Pyridot. We're just having everybody greed. Auto roll. Find another kitty cat. See my target. There we go. Huh. Try to mess you. Let's assist you. Wait. Why is it going on to that guy? Actually, let's go ahead and reapply Mez. I don't fizzle. You know, leave that there. I don't I don't need that. Ooh, another one. Fizzling, fizzling, fizzling. Maybe having me as main assist. You know what? I'm not main assist. Why does he keep changing to that target? It's because I don't have main assist as set to someone else. That's one bad thing about driving with the enchanter. 
the uh, main assist functionality doesn't work quite right. You know, I might have been breaking my own mez. So you go ahead and get that guy. Bon guy. Another one, huh? I think we're kind of like in a bad spot. Back to that one, you goofball. Stop fizzling. I gotta work that skill off camera. The target resisted. Resisted even with the attach and ooh. Well that's what I get because they're yellow. Can I get a slow? <laughs> Try to break it with that Bon guy. But I forgot about one. Big ton interrupted. Oh, ho, ho, you little butthead. Get off of that. Am, I'm not even main assist. Why are you just randomly targeting things? All right. So it looks like I can't really drive with Big Ton due to the fact that I can't, like, control where the tank goes because the tank will attack whatever the main assist has targeted. So if I'm main assist, every time I change targets, he will jump that target. And if I'm trying to mez that target, then he's he'll constantly break my mez. You know what? We need to move. It is not slowed. Ah, slow wore off. Target resisted. Yeah, it's double reporting, and I don't know why. Gotta move more. He's got the four. Now I gotta run over there and kill wolves. Those ghost wolves. So that's level 25. So directly next to my desk is a fish aquarium. And in that fish aquarium I have a Jack Dempsey. He's about... I don't know. Maybe seven inches 
maybe eight inches long. Pretty hefty. But he tells me when he wants food. And he is currently telling me to feed him. As he will sit there inside his fish aquarium, kind of minding his own business. There's a little PVC tube in there that he hides inside. Minds his own business, hiding in his tube. When he wants food, though, he will, like, just uncomfortably start staring at me until I get up and put food in his tank. And he just starts swimming back and forth, like, all oh, kind of like doing the whole classic cartoon, Franks and Beans, Franks and Beans, as he's just, like, pacing back and forth. Where you going? Eh. Well. Alright. So we gotta run up this way. That. Oh, that's that augment. Do I already have it? He already has it, so no. He already has it, so no. He might already have it too, yep. So I have everybody never on it. Considering... Leave it on the corpse. So we will go like a so... Alright, yeah, if it's a short distance, you can make the path show up. Doesn't work every time. Sometimes it's... It's weird and won't show up. It looks like I need so. So now that I'm level 25, I can do alchemy. Alright, now that we're all sewed up, let's go find these wolves. If you have this path up and you have auto zoom clicked, you can't move the map. Uh, map. Like, see so yeah, how you can move the map around by clicking in there and just dragging around? If auto zooms clicked, you can't move it. It'll like give you an error message that says like, uh, manual control is unavailable while auto zoom or something like that. What are these guys, yellow? Ah, no, my illusion. I wanted to be part of the team. My little three man Ixar team. Okay. Getting up to there. Looks like those hedges are everywhere. Do I gotta run through the hedges to get to it? Kinda sorta does look like it. Not sure what that is. Yeah, these briar thorns are terrifying. Is there druids or rangers? They just sit there and cast on you. The target resisted. Man. The target resisted. Yeah, we're starting to get high enough level to where I'm going to have to start having my guys just sit down and 
set up camp. No more of this auto following and just like casually oh, alt tabbing. And I have to like start playing for real. Big ton interrupted. I was trying to show or tell Gerald C seven one seven about this right click pop out menu. So if you guys didn't know, you can right click to unmem the spell, and if you right click again, it puts out this menu. This is default. Like you don't do any kind of customization here. It's just automatically organized for you. So if you want your damage over time. For your direct damage. Looks like I got a better stun there. A choke. Get my stun in here for color shift. Might not have skill enough to use it though. Oh, there's some Manello gloves. Kind of defeats the point of doing some of the quests because eventually the you'll get the hero quest gear and it'll be pretty much the same stats as the rough defiant stuff. Just gotta kind of choose what you want, I guess. Fifteen to thirty, yeah. See, that's already higher level, but I don't know what the reward is for this quest. Did I even look? Uh oh. I got the next... So the, these things appear as you level up. Yeah. Wait. Not be locked. I guess not. So the reward for this one. Okay. It's, yeah, so it's the helmet version of that defiant gear. Or the helmet for the defiant gear. The next one is the, ooh, a shield. Oh, cool. It's a shield and a, and a one-hand blend upgrade. Yeah, so all of the options for this reward include... Oh, look. So you can either get... So here's what you get. You get the shield, or you get the scepter. Or you can get the shield or a dagger. And I think... I think they're slightly different. Like, ever so slightly. Like, one is, like, in, more intel than wisdom. Yeah, see, 17 wisdom, 12 intel. But if you look at the dagger, 13 intel, 10 wisdom. So you, you gotta look at what you're gonna get. Because, like, that's got 9 charisma, whereas the one hand blunt... Eh, I don't know. It's only just barely better. I'll start to compare it uh, when I'm not in the middle of recording. So off camera, I'll actually go in there and make a informed decision on which one to get. At the rate I'm leveling, it might not matter that much because by the time I complete all these quests, I'll have, you know, the next higher tier of that stuff anyway. Can we sneak by? No. I hope that was... Yeah, so sometimes you get zapped or spell cast on and you won't necessarily know where it came from and you might accidentally pull an ad. I think that guy's added. 
Couldn't tell. He's, if he wasn't before, he is now. Things over there, light healing itself. Yeah, these things got so speed. Just in case this one decides to heal, I'm going to go ahead and dot him up. So that means... You're going to... Get in there and give him some haste and give the gingerbread man some haste as well. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. In the next episode, I'm going to pick up where I left off and show off fighting these wolves. So if you like this video, click the like button. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe. Put your comments down in the comment section. Check the description for links to social media and ways to support my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.